for watching ABC4 News, celebrating 75 years. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Investigators say six people were killed when a suspect went on a shooting spree in a small rural town in Mississippi, about 30 miles south of Memphis, Tennessee. Here's ABC's Phil Lipoff with the details. A shooting spree across three locations in the small town of Arkabutla, Mississippi, has left six people dead. Surveillance video shows the suspect at a convenience store where authorities say he shot and killed one man who investigators say he had no connection to. We responded to that call when a, another call comes in that there had been a shooting at a residence. Authorities say 52-year-old Richard Dale Crum then drove to his ex-wife's house, fatally shooting her, before moving on to a home next door to his own home, killing four more people, including a man authorities say was his stepfather. A local elementary school and high school both going into lockdown as authorities pursued the suspect. Crum is now in police custody. Investigators say he had two handguns and a shotgun with him. He's been charged with first-degree murder, though more charges are expected in the coming days. Governor Tate Reeves tweeting, We believe he acted alone. His motive is not yet known. According to the gun violence archives, there have been 73 mass shootings so far this year, including recent incidents on campus at Michigan State University and at a mall in El Paso, Texas. President Biden calling on Congress to pass gun reform legislation because, quote, we owe action to American communities being torn apart by gun violence. Phil Lipoff, ABC News, New York. As the war in Ukraine nears its one year anniversary, Vice President Kamala Harris saying Russia has committed crimes against humanity in Ukraine and calling on the international community to hold Russia accountable. Here's ABC's Patrick Revel with the details. Vice President Kamala Harris at the Munich Security Conference telling the world the U.S. has determined Russia has committed crimes against humanity in Ukraine. We have examined the evidence. We know the legal standards, and there is no doubt these are crimes against humanity. The vice president saying the international community has both a moral and strategic interest in holding Russia accountable. If Putin were to succeed with his attack on these fundamental principles, other nations could feel emboldened to follow his violent example. This comes as Russia launches a major new offensive in eastern Ukraine. Russian forces pressing to encircle the key city of Bakhmut, trying to claim a victory for Vladimir Putin as the war approaches its one-year anniversary. Russia is estimated to be losing hundreds of soldiers a day. A senior U.S. official warning, though, that Russia still has the vast majority of its air force intact, having lost only 130 of 1,500 aircraft since the start of the war. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken stressing the damage Putin has caused to his own country with this war. In less than a year, we have more than a million Russians who have left their country because they do not want to be a part of this war and the direction that the country is being uh, taken in. Meanwhile, Ukraine is also suffering heavy casualties. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky urging Western countries to send heavier weapons and ammunition faster. We need to hurry up. We need the speed. Ukrainian servicemen fighting in Bakhmut saying they need the weapons to be able to counterattack. Patrick Revel, ABC News, Kyiv. All right, folks, coming up, beautiful look from Deer Valley uh, over the Wasatch back. We've got sunshine out there, but clouds and snow on the way. A pair of storm systems. We'll talk about timing and what the impacts are going to be. Details coming up after the break.